What's up, guys? Today on This Week in Video Games, we are going over our top five things we want to see at San Diego Comic-Con, and we are doing our cosplay episode. And we have wonderful in-studio guest Billy Shibley from Machinima.com. All that and more on This Week in Video Games. Like a boss. Like a big boss. Yes, big yes. Boss. Welcome yeah. everyone to This Week in Video Games. I am Ada Wong. However, you can follow me at, at Jess V on Twitter. <laughs> That's J E S V. Uh, and it is our special pre Comic Con episode. We have a few people dressed up today. Um, and by few, I mean not my co host, Flip. What are you talking about? I'm dressed up as Skate for Streets of Rage. <laughs> I'm Skate. Yes. And I ran around with adults wearing rollerblades. Yes, well, um, yes, well, you guys, if you are in our chat room, we are live. If you um, are out there lurking, please come join our live chat room at justin.tv slash thisweekin and join people like Nobode, Jason MB, Ryan Vanguard, Miss Adventure, Cliff Underson, Crouton of Death. Come in and talk to us. We love to hear from you. You can follow us on Twitter at TWIVG. You can go and like us on Facebook. That's Facebook.com slash This Week in Video Games. And over here to my left, I have two wonderful gentlemen, and one of them is my wonderful co-host, Big Boss. Hey, guys. And, oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Big there Boss. Well, Adrian, he's a good friend of mine, and he told me if he could, you know, I could come in and host a show for him. So I said, well, of course, you know, we go way back. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be Big here. Big Boss, your voice is really raspy. You might want to cut it back <laughs> on the cigarettes. I know. It could be cancer, is all some, I'm saying. Some chamomile, have some chamomile. Pharyngitis. Yes. Yeah. And next to Big Boss is our wonderful in-studio guest, Billy Shibley of Machinima.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jess. Cool, cool. And, whoa, Ada, who the hell's Jess? Ada, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Are you, are you cheating? <laughs> cheating on me? Who the hell is Jess? Oh, my gosh. Um, and behind me, I don't know, uh, we can cut to them. We have the wonderful Jill Valentine yes. and Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. Woo! Hello. Yeah. They will be back there playing. What are you guys playing? Call of Duty? Zombies. Zombies. What Call else of Duty would they be zombies. Playing? Yes, Her yes. Nerd. Not Resident Evil. Obviously. Not yeah, Resident no. Evil. No, that's that's too close to home. <laughs> right. Playing Resident Evil. They won't. Why would you want to read your own book about your life? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, and for people who don't know, um, Ada Wong from Resident Evil 4. Awesome game. You guys should check it out. I'm Skate so, from Street Rage 2. Skate. Yeah, Sega. Now I mean. Psh, psh, psh. Yeah. So before we uh, <laughs> before we talk more to Billy, uh, we like to do a little segment called "What Have You Been Playing?" And so uh, I wanted to start with Flitz over here. What have you been playing? Oh, uh, I can't remember. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> I've been playing uh, Miss Explosion Man. Oh. Uh, very fun game. Uh, reminds me of a close friend of mine. Uh, down reminds you, Explosion Man One? Uh, no, no. Yes, Explosion <laughs> Man One is a very close friend of mine. We we uh, he's often called a terrorist. No, a uh, real life friend of mine uh, who was in studio, uh, same personality, it's really ridiculous. Like, talking fast and very full of personality. I've also been playing Galaga DX. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to see how much of that game I can play before I decide to do drugs and play. Because yeah. uh, it's <laughs> trippy is all damn. <laughs> what have you been playing? Um, uh, I haven't had too much time to play any games right now. Um, Gamefly actually lost my Shadows of the Damned, so I've Wait, been dealing with that. Wait, what do you mean lost? That. Like it was it stolen just, by your just, mailman? Exactly, I never received it, and so I'm really <laughs> bummed because I was so looking forward to playing that game, like one of my most anticipated games, and of course, I haven't gotten it yet. So I hung out with my sister, hung out with the fam last night, and we actually played some new Super Mario fam. Brothers on the Wii. And um, <laughs> God, I love that game. Like no matter how many times that I've played Super Mario on the Wii, it's, it's the co-op is so fun and it's so challenging and so she and I were yelling and screaming at each other and cussing and having a good time with that last night so and you big boss uh, well Adrian Adrian tells me that he's been playing Alpha <laughs> Protocol oh. uh, Alpha <laughs> Protocol it's uh, in case you haven't heard of it it's kind of like if uh, Metal Gear and Mass Effect had a little baby and the baby has its fair share of problems. Yeah. yeah, it's, um, yeah it's, it's slightly it's, retarded. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. Yeah, not as good as either of those games. Yeah, it's, it's clearly not as good as Metal Gear Solid 3, obviously. 
So you, so you're saying this baby will never live up to its parents' legacy? Probably <laughs> Poor not. Poor child. No, Aww. but there's a lot of interesting <laughs> concepts in it that that are are really fun because you can choose to go into a situation and either act as like really suave, like James Bond, or you can go in and you can do it really aggressive, like Jack Bauer, or you can go in and be really professional, like uh, Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. Matt Damon. In, that Damon. Movie. in that movie, the, the, that movie. the movie where he's I the guy. I forgot that movie. He's supposed to be a tough guy, but I never thought of him as a tough guy. He's a wimp. Inception. <laughs> Big Boss could take him on any day. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Billy, what have you been playing? Um, I've been catching up on stuff recently because there's not a whole lot that's come out. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. I finished L.A. Noir finally. Oh, congratulations. Uh, which nice. I really like the ending to that. You fulfilled? Yeah, uh, you fulfilled? Yeah, it was good. I, I, I enjoyed the ending of it. Uh, I was a little nervous uh, uh, because it seemed like for a m moment there that the ending wasn't really going to come together. Uh, and in some ways it didn't, but uh, I liked it. Uh, I think I might go back and do some of the DLC for it, though. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, uh, what else? The Uncharted 3 beta is awesome. Oh, I've been, yeah. Yeah, I've been watching, watching co-workers so play it. It's really good. It does look really, really, really fun. fun. The beta is the multiplayer, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a multiplayer beta. Oh, that's and there's like cool. a couple maps in there and a couple different modes. Co-op missions. Yeah, they, I did play the co-op co stuff, which is super fun. At E3, and so, well, that's cool, because I know yeah. a lot of people kind of have, have been stating, like, not every game needs a multiplayer, but you're actually enjoying the... Yeah, that, well, that's how I thought about Uncharted 2 when they announced it. I was mm -hmm. like, uh, you play Uncharted for the story, obviously, right. but um, it's really different. Like, there's a certain, like, I guess, verticality element to it, because oh, nice. you're sort of jumping around, and mm -hmm. um, they have some cool, uh, like, perk system, and they have this, like, power play system when right. uh, one team is down, um, they'll, like, get an advantage so they can, like, come back, and it keeps the games really oh, close. Nice. So it's 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 a fun multiplayer. Right, right. And, That's uh, very cool. Yeah, totally. All right, cool. So let's talk a little bit about what you do over at Machinima. Oh, boy. So <laughs> for people who have never, ever heard of Machinima.com, why don't you that? give us the is rundown? Is that, like, animation? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> sort of. I mean, Machinima, it's it's a combination of machine and cinema. It's kind of how the word oh, nice. was created. Mm -hmm. And uh, Machinima started out, Machinima.com started out as just Machinima stuff, which is basically, yeah. like, doing narrative stuff within game engines. Right. Obviously, like, games like Halo are sort of... Mm -hmm. the, the, yeah, Red vs. Really Blue is exactly... Is, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an example, it's an example of Machinima. And, yeah. Know, yeah. Halo sort of um, um, did a really good job of, of, of uh, making a lot of people aware of how Machinima's made. And even Uncharted 2 had some tools in it. So, uh, But since then, we've really expanded way beyond doing that, just that stuff. And mm -hmm. we... Um, we do like a lot of gameplay now. We do a lot of gameplay videos. Um, we do editorial stuff, which is the department that I work in. Oh, okay. Um, we do a lot of like event coverage. So I mean, we're huge now. We're actually yeah. um, Machinima is the number one entertainment channel on all of YouTube. Nice. So. Oh, wow. congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. So boom. Yeah, boom, <laughs> boom goes the dynamite. Yes. So, <laughs> um, so there's several different channels on yeah, Machinima. So Why don't you break those down? For so us we too? have the main Machinima channel, mm -hmm. which is sort of uh, has a little bit of everything. It has regular Machinima. It has gameplay, um, and, and it has our editorial stuff. Uh, Inside Gaming is sort of the main show oh, for nice. that, which um, which I work on. And then uh, we I also have. Yeah, you were on yeah. it a couple weeks ago. It was fun. <laughs> it, makes, it was awesome. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, and then uh, we also have um, an entertainment tech and culture show on there called ETC. Oh, appropriately. Um, nice. So we're sort of expanding into that stuff. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, and then we have uh, Respawn, which is like the shooter community. So like the Call of Duty guys, the Halo guys, like that's where all that gameplay the is. The elitists. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, 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 and of course, we have the show Respawn with Sark and Hutch, which, yeah. I mean, everybody loves those guys. Um, and then we have uh, Machinima Realm, mm -hmm. which is uh, the nerdy like MMO, RTS. RPG sort uh, of channel. So. Isn't it all nerdy though? Well, I yeah, mean, like. I guess so. But the real nerds. Some more than others. Um, Some more. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. And then uh, Machinima Sports, which is sports games. So like Madden, Skate, MMA everything games in between. As well. Yeah, MMA stuff is actually really, really big on that channel. So uh, and then we have a trailer vault, which is just sort of like trailers. That's where we stick oh, all the okay. trailers. Oh, okay. That's so, yeah. nice. Five channels. Wow, that's Ballin. great. Uh, and mm -hmm. do you guys plan on making more channels? Um, or is I that think, kind of under wraps think, right now? I, uh, I think right now, like, five channels is probably probably An we're abundant gonna, amount yeah. or enough. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And how long have you been with Machinima? Um, so I started contracting with them two years ago, and I've been mm -hmm. on full-time for a year now. A little oh, over a year. Oh, very cool. And yeah. so have you always been, like, a real gamer, and this was just, like, you Oh, totally. Like, I've been job? playing. Yeah, I've been playing games my entire life, and, uh, yeah, just kind of landed in this job, and, mm -hmm. and uh, really crazy story, and, and so... Do you, yeah, do you totally share that story or? Yeah, so basically, <laughs> right. yeah, it's it's sort of a it's sort of a uh, interesting story. Basically, uh, two years ago at E3, they held a contest to oh. take someone to E3 with them, and I ended up winning that contest. Nice. Oh, sweet. But I've always wanted to like work in this industry, and so of I ended up yeah. that being my connection to them. So that's, yeah. that seems to be the way 
with for a lot of people who come in Mm -hmm. Stay in because it's like win this contest. It's you like, did that yeah. too. Yeah, that's why I moved to LA because yeah. I won a contest. Oh, well, really? it wasn't even a contest, it was kind of a contest. I don't think anyone knew it was a contest. And I overachieved, and it was like, oh, well, you're going to E3 and Comic Con with G4. And I was like, awesome. As, and they were like, oh, so, and you have a personality, so you're going to be on camera talent. And I was like, brick shat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like, no, 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 one, no, no one I know that works in this industry like went and like wrote an application and applied for a yeah, job. Like, they did. Right. They just did yeah. it. Yeah, they, they just, put just in, do they it. Put and uh, and yeah. once you're in this industry, like, you never want to leave. Like, so much fun. So That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, where do. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Who has their guns? Who has their guns? I have mine. Ka -choo! Ka -choo! Ka -choo! Ka -choo! What kind of gun are you shooting? Ka -choo! Ka -choo! Make Bossier have a gun. Does your gun have a cold? You have a gun next to you. Yeah, well, my gun doesn't Jesus. go. Ka -choo! Ka -choo! Your gun sounds like a Pokemon. Ka -choo! Ka -choo! Why is your gun a Pokemon? <laughs> there you go. Critical hit potential. Ka -choo! Ka -choo! Oh, man, that was scary. Well, that was it's scary. a good thing we had Leon Kennedy and Jill Valentine and Jill, back Jill here. Valentine here. <laughs> this adventure says Je Ada has a French shotgun. It is pretty French. Yes, yes. So it has a French shotgun, a French which means shotgun. it surrenders in a gunfight. It's completely useless. It's, it's completely the worst useless. shotgun you could possibly have. Uh, Derek H says the guy totally copped a feel when he attacked Jill. <laughs> nice. No, that's a smart way to do it. That's what you got to do out here. So, but where did you They're move just horny from? They're zombies. They're horny um, zombies. So I, I, uh, I moved. So I moved to LA a year ago from Boston. Oh, where? So, mm. From the East Coast. Yeah, I feel like the weather because Boston gets brick. Uh, do I miss? I actually miss the East Coast. You miss? Weather. Do you miss the cold? And you miss? I the do. Snow? I totally miss You're the cold. Bugging. Wow. <laughs> you can, yeah, I know. I'm a crazy person. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, awesome. So, where um, where can people see more of you? Or like, um, do you have a Twitter that you want to plug? Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my personal Twitter is uh, Billy Shibley, which is B I L L Y S H I B L E Y. Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, occasionally I'll appear on some of our shows, Inside Gaming. You can go oh, check cool. that out on the Main Machinima channel. So. Yeah. Great, great. Well, thanks for coming in and Definitely. hanging out with us. Yeah. So we're going to get into some news right now. And uh, feel free to jump in on any of the stories that we have to talk about. So um, the first story is a uh, pretty major pop cap has been bought out by EA Studios for $700 million. Roughly. That's a lot of fucking money. <laughs> 700 That's well. Roughly, Seven, yeah, 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 yeah. 750 million, yes. roughly. Okay, yes. I, sorry, give or take 600 million. 650, you know, cash, cash, and then 100 million in EA stock. Yeah, like EA yeah. stock. Which is actually pretty damn good. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I counted. Those pop guys are celebrating right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, $700 million would pay for 73,000 years of my rent here in Los Angeles. Wow. I counted that out. <laughs> that is a lot She's of Asian. money. You probably I, don't even need that much. You probably don't even need that much. That's just, you know, That's I would ridiculous. settle for like 1% of that. I'd be happy with that. And they That's said they said the deal was estimated at 1.3 billion. 1.3 billion. Yeah. Well, the, I don't I don't understand how that works. The crazy rumor oh. was that the rumor was that Zynga offered PopCap a billion dollars. 1 billion. And then that for some reason didn't happen. I'm not right. sure if it was like PopCap said, no, we don't want to get a I think Zynga, I think or? EA, I think EA, I mean, PopCap, I'm sure they're gamers. Yeah. And EA being a gaming company, big gaming company. Yeah. And Probably. then they're like, hey, we'll offer stocks. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> and more yeah. publicity. I mean, EA is yeah, kind of like course. the powerhouse right now. But EA also offered, uh, we saw today, like an incentive, like a bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. $550 million. Raise, basically bonus, after three uh, three years of, oh. of reaching like a quota. Basically. Yeah. Which I'm sure, I mean, PopCap games are so popular. Yeah. 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 Plants vs. Zombies is an amazing game. Absolutely. I love that game. But yeah. the fact that, you know, these guys are doing so well off of like you know these casual games is amazing and all of the like a lot of their games are fantastic so good for them I mean yeah that's... Pop, Pop, Popcat's interesting because I feel like they somehow appeal to everybody yeah like, yeah, like hardcore do. gamers like me like I play Plants vs Zombies but also mm -hmm. like my friend's dad plays Plants vs Zombies he right. doesn't play any other game like it's pretty crazy yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they've managed to like hit everybody and I know um, quite a few people, like a, quite a few uh, PopCap fans, were afraid that you know EA was going to come in and take over and change a bunch of these things. But you know, a few um, analysts have said they don't think that EA is going to touch PopCap at all. If, if EA is smart, if they, they, broke, they will yeah. not touch PopCap. For Which sure. they are. We'll admit it. I mean, e they're, not, EA they're number one EA for a reason. EA has been good with. Yeah, stuff like they that. They didn't touch Bioware. Yeah, I was just Bioware, gonna, Bioware was the yeah. one I was going to bring up. Um, yeah, I mean, you look at, I think, um, um, 
Mass Effect 1 was when Bioware was independent, and then they got bought out, and then you look at Mass Effect 2, and then that was an amazing And now look so. at 3. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't. My dude. eyes. So <laughs> can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> Nerdgasm. I don't think anyone could wait for this. Yeah. So, um, but now, also, Netflix is streaming on the Nintendo 3DS. I yeah, know. who's excited about no one? Okay. Some people I am, are. No, I gotta <laughs> say, I gotta say. Uh, Adrian's brother. He's extremely excited about this because uh, he loves to make 3D stop motion animations and he's always been finding a way to be able to see them on the 3DS. So I think this is a step in the right direction because I think like now that they can show that, hey, you could see some Netflix stuff on your 3DS, you could also potentially start putting your own 3D movies and see them on the 3DS. That's, well, that's big. I that's mean, fantastic. What about mm. the 45 minute battery life of the 3DS? Yeah. You plug it in. That's you just it. plug it in. Three hours. You don't always have to be gaming on the go, man. I mean, the only use that I could see this is like when I'm lying in bed at night. Like maybe right. I'll watch like a TV yeah. show before I go to bed on my 3DS. Right. But I have my I do that on my iPhone anyway. So. Right. It's because they're drastically underestimating the main usage of the 3DS, though. Little kids are going to have access to it. Imagine yeah. if uh, you're going to go and you have to have your kids somewhere and. You can just have them be babysat so this by your 3DS. Really big news when Netflix signs a deal with Vivid. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. That's, That's the market. 3DS X. 3DS. <laughs> That's what I'm watching. In um, 3D, it's coming I mean, at me. Netflix. Uh, Netflix is Giggity. everywhere now, obviously, and like yeah. them being on one more device. Like, mm -hmm. cool. Right. Sure, yeah. Why not? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was producer Ryan off camera, by the way, talking, guys. We we think mm -hmm. he has so much, uh, so many good things to say. He really does. So we might come up, but he doesn't want to be on camera because no. he's shy. He's like, F you guys. I don't want to break the cameras, seen. guys. But, um, the great yeah, powerful they, eyes. They, they, the great. <laughs> <laughs> but they did say, you know, uh, Netflix, or uh, excuse me, Nintendo did say that Netflix would be bringing um, 3D movies eventually mm -hmm. to um, the 3DS. So if you want to watch your movies in 3D and don't mm -hmm. want to go out and buy a you know, uh, 3D TV and wear the 3D glasses. Because remember, it's 3D, no that, glasses. I, that's still, that's, that's <laughs> so, <laughs> under, yeah, that's, that sounds so <laughs> underwhelming to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah totally the, One of the big things about 3D is having it on a screen big enough where that thing coming at you could possibly be a threat. So it's like, you're watching, you're like, oh, 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 oh it looks like, so, oh, that's not exciting. Like, uh, <laughs> that's not exciting at all. Uh, but yeah. I'm good for them. Yeah, I'm hating, but good for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> also, what what's left for Netflix to be on now? What is Netflix not on? Game Boy, the Bible, the Bible, <laughs> the Netflix brought to you Netflix by the Bible. <laughs> yeah, I, I want Netflix <laughs> on my I want Netflix on my Game Boy Advance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my uh, your 3DO, my Game Gear, oh, your 3DO. <laughs> Yeah, it'll show up on PS Yeah, I'm sure it'll be on Oh, it'll look great on the PS Vita. Yeah, that's, oh my gosh. Really nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and go to the, the eShop and download that shit. Um, and then at Comic-Con, Marvel. Marvel. Marvel's announcing. Marvel there, there, versus There's Cap rumors. Well, rumors. Capcom's saying there are rumors that they will be announcing three new characters or more characters. And there's a lot of speculation because on a uh, Capcom community site, they had a big poll. And it was up forever. It's like, what characters do you want to see? And it had a Marvel list and it had a Capcom list. And there's a huge list. Some pe a lot of people want Phoenix Wright. Some mm -hmm. people want That's Frank so West. That's so funny. Phoenix Wright would be awesome. <laughs> see, my personally, personally, I want Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl. <laughs> yes. Like, I think she'd be. Per she has the best fighting records in, record in the Marvel That's universe. Awesome. Like, she's beat up Deadpool and Wolverine. What about on the side of Marvel? On the side of Marvel, who would I want to see? Banshee. Someone, someone, mm. uh, well, Squirrel Girl's Marvel, but someone outside of the norm. I, 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 we need Venom. I'm just going to go out and say it. <laughs> <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was 10 times better than 3. You know what? Just because of Venom. I'll I would take accept Venom. Venom. I would be yeah. okay with Venom. I'll there be okay go. with Venom if it's yeah. Matt Gargan. <laughs> I am also very disturbed. Adrian gets really pissed off. I take you so much self control not to pull out my gun. Shoot. I know. That would be a hate crime. That would be oh, That's partly the reason why not. So, I'll let Leon do this. The, the other you gotta shoot the black guy. <laughs> the other rumor that I've heard that is sort of related, well, I guess it's very related to this, is. That they might actually be announcing like a whole new game, like Super Marvel vs. Like Capcom, Capcom 3, Capcom or which Ultimate I would Marvel I would rage inside of my pants and face. I would be just pissed <laughs> off. Well, they've Why already done it. Why? I'd be because I have Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and if I'm gonna have to pay another 20 bucks 
for a I got the collector's adventure. I got the collector's edition for it was what six uh, seventy five eighty. But I got like to have to pay so much more money. Right. I would just be like. Really? What? Are you giving me four more characters and three more stages? Yeah, right. you could it's kiss a my whole entire ass. So the they did it with Super Street Fighter t- yeah. Four yeah. twice already. They did right. Street Fighter Four and then Super Street Fighter Four and then mm-hmm. Arcade Edition, yeah. which just right. came out. And like, it's weird because I feel like with with Street Fighter Four, they sort of like brought back the fighting game genre in a way yes. that it hasn't been relevant in a yes. while now. And now they're sort of they're like... They're trying to redo what was happening then. Which I feel like is not a great because idea. Because the arcade because, era is over. Yeah, because like... And, and, and like you release Arcade Edition, it's like, okay, there's two new characters and some balance tweaks. And it's like, yeah. how many people actually care about that? Yeah. yeah. Like, really. there That's an hardcore. update and a DLC. That's all you need. Yeah, For totally. like 10 bucks. Totally. You don't need and, to go and, out and buy another and, $60 and, game. And, and props to them for doing the whole fighting thing right. Yes. But where they fall behind with the modern age, and it might be because it's a Japanese thing versus American thing, you look at Mortal Kombat... I, yeah. That mm-hmm. is a full game. That is a meal. Yeah, and and they're still releasing characters, and you're actually excited about these characters. So it's still building and all on like the challenge tower stuff. Yes, and the story which mode. A lot, I'm sure mm-hmm. a lot of people haven't finished. Dude, I like, want, I told myself I was gonna finish it. Not even close. <laughs> but, but someday I'll go back and finish it in Mortal Kombat. That, the last yeah. challenge I beat it. It's it's online if you Did search you? it. Yes, and uh, ooh. Is it toughy? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think I, yeah, I think I watched some video of it. <laughs> Shao Kahn and Goro yeah. and like yeah, it's it's uh, Goro, Kentoro, Melina, Shao Kahn, and they get perks and you get punished. Yeah, I don't mm. want to do that. Mm. <laughs> Someone said they wanted to see Professor X in Marvel yeah. versus Capcom three. Yeah, what do you think about which that? Which one? Can we get the one what? from uh, the newest movie? Because I, I don't want Professor X like, I'm going to kick your ass. It's so awesome. Come here, come here. <laughs> mind uh, power, mind power. Like, oh, calm down, Professor. That would be oh, nice, yeah. Like, like pre, I actually, I actually pre, hated I that. got shot. I hated that new X Men. I got yeah. shot. In really? The back. I loved it. I got that's, shot. That's, that's a different show. Talk about X Men. I love this show. Post show. Post show. Post show. Post show. Yes, post yes, show. yes. Video yes. games. It's so, what I'm doing. So, I don't know if you guys saw this clip on the Today Show. And it's not like I watched the Today Show because the Today Show is for, like, you know, old soccer people. moms that stay at home that don't work. Um, just saying. In the morning, in the morning at, like, 7 a.m. Yes, yeah. so the Today Show <laughs> runs this segment called The Other View, Getting Guys' Perspective on Love. And uh, one of the questions that was asked was, uh, what's up with men and video games? Do you think it's okay for men to play video games in their 30s and over? And the girl could like barely get the question out without laughing her ass off about this question. And um, the experts were like, no. Um, I think Kathy Lee Gifford is, you know, one of the hosts, and she's like, that, that's weird. <laughs> oh, that's weird. What's menopause? And um, the guy. <laughs> it was so sorry. Long. Go ahead. The, the, it was I'm not so mad. long ago. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> And the male expert uh, said, uh, the answer no, is no. Not, not when an you're in your, go ahead, go ahead, when, Okay, yeah, when you're can. in your 30s, uh, there should be something more on your mind or attention than video games. But it is acceptable if you're playing with your children, right. not in your basement, which that's such a fucking lame cliche <laughs> these days. Yeah. Like, I don't even have a basement. Ooh, I've never had a basement. basement. I've, I've nice. never owned a home that has so a basement. Like. I don't know who plays games in their basement. Like that's so sad and it's really sad. It, it blows my mind that people even like have that perception of video games anymore. Yeah. yeah. Like considering how big they are. Like the, 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 the yeah. thing about the I thing know. about the people that were on the show. If you look, it's like three women. Do we were, have the clip? I can think we, we have the clip. Let's play. Can what do we, we roll the clip, clip really quick? I think the mics that? will be up so we can kind of <laughs> talk through it. But, uh, oh, here it is. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, oh, let's be oh, honest. Men can hands. be mysterious sometimes. <laughs> they do think differently. They act differently. <laughs> and God knows they behave <laughs> a lot differently than we do. So to help us understand them a little better, we've called on our pal, Donnie Deutschman. Deutschman, la, 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 la. To give us the inside scoop on all things men. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. But, but let's, <laughs> yeah. let's do it. But we like it. We like you. We have fun. Oh, yeah, Sarah. Okay, first question's from Ann. I've been married for 35 years to a man who always puts his family, which means his mother, brother, and sister. Sisters, oh. before his own wife and children, what can Wait. I do? Oh, Ooh, 35 years. Yeah, you just no, said it. it's 35 years. No, I, mean, I, I mean, you know, you okay. should have set the boundary. Forget it. You can it's interesting that you, you use them. the word you his family. Them. His family is his new yeah. nuclear family, not his old. We don't need, uh, we don't need, you know, we don't, no, 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 no. I mean, it's a sad story. It is. You were also part of the problem. You allowed it to happen. 35 years. No man or woman but is changing. Yeah. Um, no dog can be trained when he's that old. Yes, yes, yes. The the point is the point is Donnie Dutch 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 Donald Dutch. He's first of all he's 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 he's, he's fifty three years old, and he's rich. 
he's out of touch. Let's, I mean, in 1983, he was like, what, 24? Like, <laughs> he's not a part of the generation that, he's a part, he's not a part of that, the right generation to be able to even make any judgment on anyone that's 30 because all the people that play games now are the ones who play games from kids to adults mm -hmm. and more games are catered to adults. That's first of all. Then these two old ass ladies who's probably just pissed off that these 30 year old men are playing games and, and happy. And not paying attention yeah. to them. And, and not paying attention to them. And everything. You know, old. and, and to, 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 I'm, I'm offended because <laughs> to say, first of all, I'm 46 years old. <laughs> so, and I it's love true. video games. Hey, look, black don't crack. There's no wrinkles on his face, nothing. It's but like, <laughs> to say, to say it's. really well. That's thank you, black, thank you. Black don't yeah. crack. That's what <laughs> to say to say it's weird is the biggest insult. You know, because in a country where people sit and veg in front of the TV yeah. at at any age for long periods of time, where people get their skin cut open so they're and get their uh, face stretched so that they can look so right. younger, or the fact that you can get a, a health destroying burger for one dollar, and then if you want to buy a stalk of broccoli, it's ten. That's weird. So yeah. they they don't they don't they they think it's still this whole thing where games are for kids. Yeah, you know what my games question is, are what, what what are they sp s s thinking that thirty year olds are supposed to be doing? Like being going out miserable, getting, going out and getting drunk, or going out and watching football and betting on it, or like Lunch. beating their wives? Like, <laughs> what, what, what is it that's normal that we should be doing at, at over thirty that that's so great over video games? And a lot of people. It. I mean, there was I'm sure there was a time when when I mean think about the days when oh you're taking a picture of me. That's gonna steal my soul. How dare you? <laughs> or, or reading, you can read. Why can you read? <laughs> like, burn the a, yeah, burn a book. It's evil. But what, what were these guys probably talking right before that they were celebrating Snooky or Transformers Three? Like, how are those any better than people playing video games? Video like, games I don't... is still too young. People can't understand video games. You could go see a movie, and all it takes is two hours of your time or one hour and a half. Yeah. You gotta play a video game. You gotta learn the controls. You gotta train. You gotta get better at it. It's an experience. It's an experience. It's a, yeah. a, it's, it's a new movie. It's, it's a the next time movie. Yes. It, but it's understand. also a skill building investment. Exactly. Right. But yeah, and on the same page, like in a lot of ways, I think video games are like more engaging and even like they have, the, the, like the way that they can tell story through like their interactive nature and the way that they can they can like make you solve puzzles and like mm -hmm. you know learn problem solving decision. logic. Make like, decisions. I mean, there, yeah. there's a awesome. lot of more engaging things there than any like stupid movie or TV shows or books totally. or anything. Or like, soap operas. And, and oh. I'm leaving you, Don. Dun, dun, Again. Dun, dun, That's season one. Season three. <laughs> I'm leaving you, Don. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Season six. I'm leaving you, Don. It's the same damn thing. This adventure <laughs> says, yeah, 30 year olds aren't into spousal abuse much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because they're too busy playing video <laughs> games. Yes, it's a peacekeeper. Yes, it's truly really too bad. <laughs> the ESA even claims that the the average age of gamers is 37. Like I didn't think it was 37. I but that makes it sense. That makes yeah. sense. Look how, old, how old, look games. at look at look at Billy Mitchell. How old is Billy Mitchell? I don't know. Ageless. And, and he's <laughs> ageless. Look, look, like look, look at look at the like Donkey Kong the Donkey Kong competitors. How old are they? Yeah. And that's what they oh, grew up yes. doing. And they're exactly. successful men. Billy Mitchell has his own damn business. And his own oh, yeah. hot sauce. And and his own hot sauce, <laughs> which my people love. By the way, Billy. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> and hey, we love hot sauce too. Man. But they're very. <laughs> <laughs> They, they, they are still successful men because, and you never know, unless you experience it. Right. Who are you to judge? And really? I, I refuse to believe that any of those people sitting up there on that stage haven't played at least Angry Birds mm. or Tetris or Pac-Man. Like, My yeah. grandma plays Tetris and there loves it. And, yeah. talk, and, then, and I'm usually, I, I usually would be joking. I am not joking. My grandma, I <laughs> bought my grandma Tetris with a Game Boy and she has killed the Game Boy for playing it too much because mm -hmm. she is getting in in Tetris. And we mm -hmm. just talked PopCap. Who's playing PopCap games? Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone. A lot of people Everybody. over 30. A Everyone. lot of people. <laughs> About then, a billion dollars worth. And yeah. then they also, the ESA also said that 29% of gamers are over 50. That's a Which big is amount. Crazy, yeah. Like my dad is a hardcore PC gamer, and mm -hmm. he's like, I don't know, I think he's like 57. Didn't and your dad like buy a whole iPad for Angry Birds? Or something? He, bought, he got an iPhone. Oh, okay. For Angry Birds, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, he's played every single uh, uh, Civilization, every single Command and Conquer, all of the Half Lifes, Halos, Portal, Portal One and Portal Two. Like he's a huge gamer, and mm -hmm. yeah. So I mean. 
It's 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 a thing. Oh, and World of Warcraft. Oh my God, he's addicted. To that. He really <laughs> awesome. is. Um, he is the one that got me started on my Diablo addiction. Like, I guess it just runs in the family or whatever. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, and he's not weird. No, so we can agree. Seeing Kumbaya in a circle like yeah. those three did We're at the end weird. of that clip, that's yeah, weird. Really, that, that is weird. Yeah. Face lips get, are weird. Says, like, well, who cares about what douchebag and the old witches think anyway? <laughs> Gamers are not weird. Yeah. They're <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. So, um, hey, you guys, so let's check in with um, Jill and Leon back there. How's it going back there, you guys? Good. That's good. They're good? They're good? Look, they're playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3 back there. Who's winning? Hey, uh, who's winning? No. Uh, Jill. Jill <laughs> said she's winning. Leon denies it. Um, yeah. But, hey, you guys, we also have an Xbox Live account now. Uh, the Xbox, uh, our gamer tag is this week in, so make sure to add us. And maybe you guys could uh, play with Jill or Leon one of these days. So, but with that being said, top five explosion. Top five explosion. Yes, top five explosion. <laughs> top five things we want to see at fucking San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Okay. So. Fucking video games, says Jill back there. Yes. Um, number five. Number five. Number five is um. Here, here's a list. We oh, can talk about it. Mass Effect so, movie. The Mass Effect movie. We talked about this. That's why it's number five. So we talked about this last week. We talked about actually um, our fantasy top, um, our fantasy, the fantasy actors that we want to see mm -hmm. in the Mass Effect movie. And so I know, we know um, they're going to, Legendary Pictures is going to talk more about the movie. Can we get casting information SCCC. though? Because you can talk more about the movie all you want. We already know what the story, the universe consists of. Yep. I want to know casting. Yep. Everyone wants to hey, I want to know who's playing who. Matthew who's direct, Matthew, directing at least? Um, we don't know yet, but Matthew Fox's birthday is today and that's who we are pushing for. He's 45. Wow. Really? 40, exactly. That's the best 45 I've ever He's seen. He's aging yeah. as well as so, I am. Yeah. So I have a question about this. Okay. Do you think this movie is ever even going to get made? Yeah, I don't know. Because I think so. Uncharted movie, right. Bioshock movie, like there's so many Lord, game movies. Uh, Halo movie. Guys. Halo movie. Like, yeah. Yeah. None of them ever get made. Right. They yeah. always get announced and then it just never happens. I think that With good happens reason. on... Yeah, yeah. No, With I totally good agree. reason. Well, Uncharted lost the director, in turn lost the actor, but I think they're pushing... I think they actually got they another got director. director. Yeah. So that That's can still get made. Sad. Halo... Hollywood wasn't playing nice, yeah. from what I understand. Well, Microsoft uh, wasn't playing that nice either. My, yeah. So, uh, well, because they're Microsoft. Peter Jackson. <laughs> but now, with with I mean, with the video game industry showing, it's kind of almost might be recession proof. Yeah. It's like, why would we not make this film? I mean, it would be cool. Trust me, I would love to see a Mass Effect movie, but mm -hmm. I, I'm skeptical. Live action. I think I think yeah, what yeah. Would I mean, it would have to be. Yeah, that would be awesome. What would happen is the same thing would happen if they would make an Uncharted movie. If they make an Uncharted movie, they're gonna be like, "Oh, it's a poor man's version of Indiana Jones." Uh -huh. They take out Mass Effect. It's a poor man's. It's a poor man's version of Star Wars. Which is because the like thing that. is that you. I don't think there's a way to condense all that world into a two. A, to an half hour experience. Mm. I, I, yeah, I totally agree with that. Part of Mass true. Effect is interacting, developing those relationships. Yeah. People are not going to sit there and watch Commander Shepard have a five minute conversation with Miranda every single time he yeah. so, his mission. So, it's are video games, happen. is it possible so that true. video games, I mean, with how many have failed, is it possible that video games are too big for the big screen? They are the movie. Well, the point That's what well, it's, it's becoming. It's, it's just yeah. that they're a different medium, I think, yeah. is what mm -hmm. it is. Is that, like, when you play games, like, you you are that character and, like, right. you develop those, you develop that relationship. With those other characters over the course of like a twenty or thirty hour game, right? right. Whereas especially, like, a, especially with Mass Effect, especially with Mass, I mean, Mass Effect in particular, yeah. Right. Our lead, our lead could be a female or a male. I mean, we're right. playing yeah. a game. How and do you make that new movie? That there's like books behind it and right. comics behind it and stuff like that. And the fact that me personally, my favorite video game that. Uh, va favorite video game that's been adapted into a movie, the best one, I think, is Mortal Kombat, and that's really not saying that much. No, it's awful, so, but it's I mean, amazing. But it's yeah. still, like, I think the best one out there. It's definitely better than Street Fighter or Blood Rain or, yeah. you know, any of those movies, and so it's just kind of <laughs> like, of what? Yeah, <laughs> so it's just kind of like, what, what is Mass Effect going <sighs> to do that's going to stand out from those kinds of movies to become great? And so, you know, it, yeah. it is kind of worrying, I feel like, because that's something precious to all of us. Right, also, it's, and it's also precious to EA, if you think about it. Like, it, yeah. like potentially, like, they could do a Mass Effect movie, and it could be awful, you and could. it could end up, be, like, damaging the Mass Effect brand, in a way, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think you're going to have to start taking video games as, like, based on, and just highlight the world, 
Yeah. Not the same story that was already played Take in a video liberty. game. Yeah. No matter what, it's going to be a disappointment for the people who play the game. Like, yeah. it has to be based on, here's a cool world, we're not going to follow the lead character, but it's If an they adaptation. kept Shepard out of it, that yeah. would probably be exactly. a good idea. Like, totally. The video game is an entry point to this new movie universe, but move First on. The, yeah. Don't remake the game you already played. Right, right. And hey, you guys, before we move on to um, number three, I just want to let everyone two, know that... Four? Uh, four. Oh, four, excuse me. Sorry, yes, four. Um, <laughs> two, the DCD seven. is here. Uh, he, he's usually in our chat room, but he's actually here in our studio. And he is actually giving away codes to Golden Axe Ooh. on the PSN. So make sure you are uh, reading some of his uh, comments there, and he'll be giving out codes throughout the show and um, during the post-show, too, as well. So Not to be confused with Golden Axe. That's the, that's the good version. He's giving out codes for Gold and Axe. Golden it's a axe. really cheap yeah, it's two robots. knock off. No. <laughs> I'm joking, it's for Golden Axe. Golden Axe, yeah, yeah. I used to play that game in the arcade at the 7-Eleven next to my house. I loved it. Anyways, okay, number four! Number four, Street number four. Fighter X Tekken. Wait, no, 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 no. Tekken X Street Fighter. Oh, yeah, Tekken X Street Fighter. You know what, that's going to be confused. Let's yes. blow Jess V's mind right now. That's, Do yes, it. yes. Do this I, I didn't know that Tekken X yes. Street Fighter They're had been two announced. Games. Yes. And so when Ryan... Um, when Ryan said this, I was thinking, um, you have you have the order wrong. It's Street Fighter X Tekken, and he's like, no. No. It's Tekken <laughs> X Street no. Fighter. Namco is making just like the that. Tekken X Street Fighter game. Yes, yes. yes. Capcom and is making Street Fighter With the Tekken X. engine. Yes. Which is fucking awesome. That's and amazing. So, yeah, that's Curious gonna be, how that's going to work. Did yeah. They, did they, did being they able to sidestep with, like, Chun-Li right. yeah, right. or right. something like that, that's, like. that's what blows my mind, sidestepping. Yeah. So, well, projectiles, too. Projectiles. How's that work? Eight-way runs. Because there's no real projectiles in Tekken, right? How do you pinch that? How do you lasers? How do you say for the most part? But that was it. Yeah. How do you pinch that though? How did how did Street Fighter like Street Fighter was like okay, we want to team up with you. Yeah. What's your version gonna be? And and someone in Namco was like, picture this: Street Fighter EX, but good. Boom goes the dynamite. And they were like, we like that. That's a great idea. Can we put any of those weird characters in? They're like, no. Right, right, right. But um, but you were saying it, it seems too far off. Yeah, for I us mean, to see footage. I, I mean, I don't think Capcom has said they're gonna show it. And yeah. like, honestly, I think it makes Namco. sense. Yeah, Namco. Yeah, 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 yeah. Namco, you're right, right, yeah. right. But I guess it makes sense for them to focus more on Street Fighter X Tekken since yeah. that game's still not out yet and it's True. not going to be out till. That the makes and sense. the engine, I mean, if you yeah. see an E3 uh, or Eclipse, it's, the engine's not even finished. It's still yeah. like, oh, look, we got Dal Sim. And it's like, that's okay, so who cares? Steve <laughs> Fox! It's like, we know who the <laughs> fucking characters are. Stop. Just let us make the damn game. Stop teasing us. I we know. know who's going to be in the game for the most part. It's like that we carrot. played Street Fighter. Yeah, it's just like, really, face. I know it's a carrot. I can smell the fucking carrot. Just give me the fucking carrot. Game looks good, though. I need my beta carotene. Game looks good. <laughs> I've, I've, play, I've played it a couple times, or seen it a couple times. Um, they, uh, they seem to have managed to make the Tekken characters fit into the Street Fighter yeah. Yeah. Mm. like gameplay yeah. well enough. Yeah. Which I think will be in the like the opposite as you were saying like yeah. it'll be definitely be weirder really to have hard. the Street I think it's Fighter really hard to do yeah I agree I'm excited for the uh, the Street Fighter X Tekken Mad Cat's fight sticks I'm just gonna be honest <laughs> put that out there oh, I'm excited like, for Mad, the, the Mad Cat's I'm, I'm Mad excited Cat's for that right here they, Sean, that's they had them right they had them at E3 they had them at E3 and I was I was what? drew I, Ryan can attest. I was like, they got Street Fighter X Tekken yeah, fight sticks, drool. And he was like, wow, you're really excited about this, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I got a text from Flit saying, like, hey, can we go up to the Mad Cat's booth? And I'm like, yeah, I've already been up there, but, um, you know, you want to come to my other appointments? And then I never heard from him again. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Number three. Number three. <laughs> Number three is the Morgan and Lilith Comic Con exclusive statue, and it is dirty. Yeah, really. Yes, please. Look uh, at that. Hot. Hey. S succubus on succubus action. Uh, suck you by on suck you by. I want. I want. I'll do that's scissor. so nice. I want that. What? That's the special uh, That's an yeah. arts and crafts the question. <laughs> I want to know how they create, you know, paper cutouts. Paper cutouts. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Like paper doll versions of Morgan and yeah. Lilith. Paper dolls. Exactly. Yes, yes. Um, I don't know. Right. I don't think we know what the price point is on this, but it is. Probably but, expensive. Probably. If it's exclusive. <laughs> that's a good yeah. price point. And if it is, yeah. like. <laughs> probably more than I'm willing to spend on a On toy. a figurine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one of the figurines of Morgan. Um, from Capcom. It was like twenty dollars that I got at WonderCon a few years ago. And I'm just kinda sad because her wings refuse to stay on and they're no. always falling off of her. And um, so I don't even put them on anymore. They just kinda lay next sad. to her. It is sad because it's such a, an immaculate 
you know, piece, and she's like so sexy, and her titties are like out to here, and she's like, you know, showing some leg well, and far? some. Yeah. And, and that was far. How far? That was ridiculous. Just far. And so, um, <laughs> so yeah, I can't even show her off properly. I can't even like take her out and you know show her a good time because her wings always fall off. And then um, Billy and I were talking. We actually both have like. The six foot tall Morgan, Morgan poster, yeah, poster. I have it in my room. It's really weird that we have the same poster. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, they have a few of them. Um, they have the the Morgan, the Felicia. Um, oh, they have Morgan, Felicia, uh, Cami, and Ryu, and then they have uh, the the all the characters, all the Street Fighter characters in a wide angle, and uh, it's all awesome. I think they're like thirty dollars though, and I don't know if I can justify paying thirty dollars for another poster. So. It is expensive for a poster. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, there's the DCD right now. Yeah. He's, got yeah. His, uh, he's got his rock band peripherals right there. DCD, <laughs> the camera killer. Yeah. You're not gonna he killed the camera. camera. <laughs> but you're not a zombie. He was really excited about the ca getting up. He was like, I'm getting up. Kick the camera. <laughs> hey, I've yes. been drinking. So, <laughs> yes. But number two. Number two. Number two. Dragon Fuck Age. the video game. Dragon, Holy shit. Dragon Age, Dragon uh, Age uh, web panel. series panel. Yes, Felicia Day is doing a Dragon Age web series, Dragon Age Redemption. She looks and sexy in that picture. She's a hot she's elf. She's always she sexy. Hot, she's she's hot so elf. pretty. See, she's I think she's cute, girl. but in that, she's sexy, like mountable. Like, I would, <laughs> I would jump off of a trampoline <laughs> into a vat of hot moose. Well, at Comic-Con, you can tell her that. To, I, yeah. I would never. <laughs> you should go to the panel. I, and then... I, I say things, but I am still a nerd. <laughs> I still get shot. <laughs> What, did, what were you saying? I was saying he should go to the panel and say that. I oh, should, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah totally. Felicia Day, you and those elf ears, I would jump off of a trampoline through fire and glass <laughs> into a bowl of jello pudding pops. That doesn't sound that bad, actually. Pops. I know, it sounds tasty. <laughs> mm, yeah. Sweet. Yes, yes. So that that's happening. Lots of panels, lots of panels so, happening at Comic-Con. So do you think we're going to get info on sort of like where within the Dragon Age universe this story takes place, because I don't think they've really talked about that that much. Right, yeah. Um, it's such a vast universe. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. More, ca it, more casting, it's, it's one of those probably. things where it could take place all its own, just within a universe. I may or may right. not have read a Dragon Age book. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I may or may not have that Dragon Age uh, book, that yeah. novel that I got at um, EA Studios, like during their uh, the pre-E3. Really good. Pre-E3, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not it's that like, I read it, but it's, it's a good book. It's like not 400 that I read pages. Anything. It's like 400 That's pages. <laughs> like, uh, oh, this? but on, on a side note, um, speaking of reading, uh, there's um, Dark Horse announced um, a comic book for, um, what is it? The, the other? No, 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 no. It was for the other Inception. side. I can't remember the name of it, but it's for Left for Dead, Portal, and oh, Team I Fortress. Oh, I saw this. Yeah, that was yes. doing their comics. What yeah. is it called? Valve Comics. It's the Valve Comics, but I can't remember the title of it. And so it's like called like Steam Powered and the Other Stories or something like that. Oh. And so, but yeah, if you're interested in reading, it comes out November 16th for $29.99. You can go online and look for it. What's so, reading? Reading. Re reading. Uh, <laughs> what'd you say? So that's something guys over 30 should be doing. Something guys over 30 should be doing. Yes. And so, number one. Number one. Ooh. Number one Show me is. In the house. Yeah, the head of Sony Online, John Smedley, um, apparently sent out a press release letting everyone know that he will be at San Diego Comic Con, yeah, walking I around. Really want to find Sony. You know, I feel yeah. I, I realize how sorry I felt for Sony today. I was talking to Matt Robb about uh, uh, the release of Now there because they announced the Green Lantern powers mm. for uh, DC Universe Online, and I was like, they should have released those. I completely glazed over, forgot. I was like, man, they should have released those powers before the movie came out because the movie kind of tanked, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and that would have been perfect timing. And he was like, yeah, but they were down because they got hacked. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh Valve oh, presents was... the sacrifice and other steam-powered stories. Thank mm. you, stranger. One oh. That's nine. Rob Jones. Rob Jones in the house. <laughs> that's, Rob Jones that's my boss. is going. Oh, okay, cool. Yes, yes, yes. He's my boss too. He was keeping eyes on you. He was making sure you didn't <laughs> say anything. So uh, no, 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 no. Uh, but thank you for that. I knew it was something <laughs> like yeah. other steam-powered um, something. But yes. John Smedley, um, I just think that's kind of pompous and pretentious to be like, yes, I right. will grace Comic Con <laughs> with it my is. presence and my children. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, like, okay. yeah, why don't you go ahead and announce that your children will be there because you won't get trolled at all if yeah. that's the case. You know, I was I planning like, to let everybody have their, uh, he's just going to let them use his credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Did him do it. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was planning on skipping Comic Con, and then I heard John Smedley was going. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> we're gonna go. Totally. We're totally gonna go. Yeah. 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 So. Thank God that he's gonna be there. <laughs> My so goodness. Talk to him about Green Lantern update. Yeah. <laughs> you know. it's, it's a legit <laughs> worry. Like you gotta wonder about these things. Yeah. 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 So um, also, okay. So moving on. What it? You got your your thing. I don't wanna. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to. I was like, what, I was like, what is she doing? Why is oh, that's happening? the top five explosions! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the top five explosions. All right, so now moving on. Now we're getting into <laughs> this week in video games. Awesome fucking video games clip of awesome. Yes, that's it. That's it. You got it. <laughs> too I awesome, know. But it's infinitely and one awesome. Fucking. So this week's clip, I was like, I was like, okay. We did, we did what we do. Last week was cool. It was awesome. The piano guy. This week, <laughs> this week, we're going to do cool and awesome too, but for, let's just watch the clip. Why are you just, pushing just me? Roll a, Stop roll pushing me. Awesome. That's good. That's good as is. But? But how do you make this clip more awesome? And I don't know how well we're hearing in the studio or how, how awesome this will be in the studio, but I read the clip and I was like, this needs to be more awesome. So this is, this is my video of how to make this video fucking even more awesome. Yeah. 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 And then it rolls, it rolls the prices right fails him. Like, how can you not? To how, make it even how do you make more, it awesome. more awesome? You add Better. cartoony ass sound effects to a, a, a fluffy kid falling. What about Bob Saget? Bob Saget. Bob Saget. Bob Saget. Saget. That's true. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like the revolution Bob is Saget. over. Exactly. <laughs> That's my Bob Saget. That's, That's yes. America's Funniest Home Videos. That's, <laughs> he was great. He was a funny guy. <laughs> funny Bob Saget. He's a funny guy. He's still he's still Did you do funny. something that we need to know, Big Boss? No. But the, the, okay. the, the we went for drinks that, once. Okay. Bob Sag and I are tight. I saw him do stand up one time. Really? It's really Was it the dirtiest thing you've ever oh, seen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually like you wouldn't expect it. But. No, so, oh no, I, I, I've yeah. seen some of his stuff. And, yeah. Yeah, Was that pretty, guy over 30, says Ryan Vanguard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say yes, considering he went into cardiac arrest right after he finished that match. Okay, Adrian. Why don't you hit us with some Yo Adrian? All right, I'm gonna do my normal voice now. Wait, because uh, this. <laughs> All right, waiting for, for a little thing. No, no thing. I think it this did. Episode? They, they did it. They, they did, did it. it. They, they, did did it. They, they, did it. they can do it again. Do it again. You did it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. I can one of those. There it is. Okay. There it is. Okay. So I know okay. that this was the 50th episode, so I figured I have to bring like a super cool, amazing, amazing toy. And I also thought, you know, my Twitter handle is Godzilla Rex, my PSN ID is Godzilla Rex, and all these people are wondering, well, where the hell is Godzilla? So here's Godzilla. Woo! An awesome Godzilla toy. There story. he is, cool. and all yeah. his Godzilla this glory. This is a uh, razor bite Godzilla. He's from the 1998 version. From Japan. And uh, his special thing is if you press his leg over here, he lets out a cool roar. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you yeah. can hear it. It's a, it's a little Put low. it up against your microphone. OK, let's try it again. <laughs> Get really close there, okay. Yeah, maybe that worked. OK, so um, I'm, not, I'm not too enthralled with the way that they made him in this design. The thing about Godzilla 1998 toys it really depended on the mood of the guy who was making the, the toy. He looks completely <laughs> different in all his renditions. It's totally different. So Fuck this one, I'm not, it's not my favorite, <laughs> but it was the one movie. that complemented the other toy, which is Godzilla. Is that the American one, the 1998? Yes, that one the 1998 yeah. Oh, God, that's that the movie was so bad. Yeah, the movie was bad, though. I've always liked the design. You're talking about it was a masterpiece. And <laughs> this version is... The from Godzilla 2000, made in 1999, yeah. oh, and there's also nice. an American re-release by Bandai, but don't get that one because it's crappy. This is the <laughs> Japanese version, and what's really cool about this design is that in the movie, if you notice, his scales are actually kind of green, but it's always at night, so he's usually black. 
but I'm glad that they made him black and not green because the combination of black and purple is just absolutely amazing. He looks really threatening and you can see all the scales. The amount of detail is great. And it's not like he's just a, a statue. <laughs> you know, you can have the points of articulation here, here, you can also move his feet, and his tail. It's, it's it's how, many good point, how many points of articulation in the tail? Oh. No, it's just no points of articulation in the tail. Just, there, just must be one, there must be one better than that. <laughs> yeah. Well, and this one, this is a new guy. This is actually kind of rare to find. Really, really odd. Um, you can find it by typing in like Godzilla, Kaiju, Bandai, Vinyl. Like you have to type in a bunch of random Pente. things. That, Inside. That have to do with Japanese yeah, and Godzilla, Bukake. and it's just it's just a small version. <laughs> Probably don't want to see Godzilla of Godzilla. Don't want to see Godzilla Bukake. See, no, that's 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 the cool thing is that you can like you whoa, can take them whoa. apart. And you can <laughs> them off. I was about to freak out. Tell me, like you broke you your toy. You just told me that that's really rare and hard to find. You just ripped his arm off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like whoa, whoa. like a real lizard. Oh, yeah, yeah. You it's gonna go back. Take so long. But like I said, that's the best one. That's the best one you can find, right? Yeah, that's the best one. The best one. Or is it? Wait. Or is it? <laughs> or, or is it? <laughs> well, I'm yes. guessing that's what it is. Oh my god. What are we Here we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, what the yeah. shit? Jill Valentine just got really excited about how big it is. All right. Can we even put that on camera? Here we go. Okay. So, this is also from the 1998 version made by Trend Masters. It's called um, Ultimate Godzilla. It is. Ultimate. Um, there was there was Supreme Godzilla, <laughs> which is a little smaller Magnum than Godzilla. this guy, and this is Ultimate Godzilla. <laughs> and what's what's really great about this toy is that they didn't skimp on the detail. Mm -mm. Like this is probably the most accurate rendition of Godzilla in the movie, because you see his <laughs> like his jaw, <laughs> his dulap. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can. Just put Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> you can see <laughs> the, the, there, buddy. this one really has the detail of like the reverse shark fins. Yeah. Because when they were designing Godzilla, they wanted to not just like make dorsal fins like that. They wanted to give it a real animal feel. So that's why you have like this extending out of it, you know. And you also have reverse shark fins because that looks really yeah. Cool. Well, the, yeah. the biggest does question, it, I think the question that's on everybody's it, mind it, is something? how many points yes, of articulation in the tail? How many points of articulation <laughs> in the tail? At You're funny man. <laughs> funny man. Seven. Always me. At least seven. <laughs> At least seven. That's is, it, is that heavy? It looks kind of It is like, heavy, actually. How, yeah. how much does he weigh? I, I don't know, do you but you have, to, you have to carry him like an iguana. Yeah. Oh, a little, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Of, if you want to carry an iguana, that you is hold really him beautiful. under the chest and you can hold him under the tail here. You know what's really cool would be if they made the alien like in that yeah. shape and that yeah, big because totally he kind of looks like yes. he kind of yeah. looks like the alien yeah. from Aliens. Yeah. Uh, he's in that that HR Giger Rieger and Giger. I Geiger. never know how to pronounce it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I've in heard, that like, shape and yeah. it's it's really beautiful. It's That's really amazing. beautiful piece Do of work. Do you make for that <laughs> every time you take it across like state lines? <laughs> well, people it always gets looks. Yeah, yeah, people think it's a small animal. That's amazing. <laughs> and what's really great about this Godzilla here? I'll put I'll put this next to my to my mic so you can hear it. Okay, everyone, quiet, quiet. That Isn't is that awesome. crazy? It it's the longest it Godzilla echoes. roar ever made in a toy. I Whoa. think that'd that's, be more valuable if you switched out that sound box with a Wookiee sound box. <laughs> a Wookiee sound box. <laughs> no. So it's like you push the button, no. it's like. <laughs> so let's no. say, all right, <laughs> let's say he's going to eat Godzilla's arm. I think a oh my God. Oh, Wookiee wait, wait, Godzilla wait, sound box is way, way better. Wait for it. Oh my What's God, going on? He's going to eat Godzilla's arm. Let's eat Godzilla's arm. Please tell me it poops. There. Ate Godzilla's arm. And now, is this what you do, <laughs> yeah, you take off the top. What the? It's and a glamorized bank. It yeah. could be a really cool piggy bank too. Duh, that's so cool. <laughs> Actually, when I brought it over, I found a twenty dollar bill in there. I was like, what? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. I wonder how old that is. How much you pay is. for it? <laughs> what? I paid forty. That's and not you bad have at all. Bill in there? You can keep you your drugs in there. You can keep your drugs in there. We can't find the meat, sir. Did you check the Godzilla? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I wow. forgot to go over prices. Sorry, guys. Okay, so okay. this one is, this one's, I paid 40 but if you want it, you can get it around 60 or 80 It's not super rare. There's a rumor that there were only, uh, I think, what, 5,000 made or 50,000? I'm forgetting the zero. Oh, okay. But it's a five yes. something. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, that's for him. He's so beautiful. And for these guys over here, this guy, he's actually pretty pricey. 
He's in the eighty to hundred dollars range, wow. and that's that's without the tag. Because the thing is that he doesn't come in a box; <clears throat> he just comes with a little tag. If you have a tag, then it's way bad. more. Yeah, he um, looks really pretty. <laughs> like if you look at him on camera, like those purple scales on his back, it looks really really nice. That's, that's why great. Africans are so beautiful. <laughs> what? They're so black. They're purple. And Why, this guy. I thought they were navy. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> this guy's the cheapest, but uh, it's kind of difficult to find him. He's only ten dollars. So, yeah. Well, you Dang better well. be ten bucks. Yeah. Derek, H. His arms off. Derek H. Derek H. says after violating it, Adrian stuck a twenty dollars bill in its mouth and said, "Buy yourself something pretty." <laughs> 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 uh, that's yes. Continue. Hey, yeah. Um, the big boss. What else? What else can I say about Godzilla? Oh yeah, I'll say something. It's a uh, girl. That my <laughs> when I first they got it, I got it my right? my freshman freshman year of college. <laughs> I've always wanted to get it as a kid, but the thing oh. is that they didn't import Same Godzilla thing. toys in Mexico. Not say a lot what? of them. They didn't, they, didn't in import, they didn't import a lot of Godzilla toys in Mexico. They only imported well. a select few. I think because <clears> people <throat> kept thinking it was Chupacabra when kids were leaving <laughs> the Godzilla toys on the street. <laughs> yeah, <racist laughs> All right. So when I first got it in college, I took it out of the box and I put it there. And so then I went to my friend who was living uh, two doors down and I said, hey, man, you want to come see my new toy? And he was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. And then he comes in and he saw he was like, dude. So big. <laughs> no, he said. <laughs> You should charge people to see that. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. John Wheeler. Great I do friend. love him. Like, I do. Living, he's living very in beautiful. Japan now. I like so that's it. Amazing. That's, that's great. great. Thanks, that Adrian. Godzilla. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. That's right. that's right. Woo. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, that about does it over here. So thank you guys so much for joining us again. Um, we had a lot of fun dressing up, doing our little cosplay. We wanted to do it just for you because we won't have a show next week because we'll all be at San Diego Comic Con. So we'll be bringing yeah. that stuff you back. Yeah, Comic Con. Hell yeah, dude. Billy will be Billy there. Billy will be there. So, Go up to him and yes. say hi and hug him. He loves that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tell them this week in video games. Don't talk to me. <laughs> so, um, again, you guys, you can follow us on Twitter. That's TWIVG. Like us on Facebook, uh, this, uh, Facebook slash This Week in Video Games. Um, subscribe to us on iTunes. Comment on our YouTube page. Add us on Xbox Live. This Week in. This week in. And uh, we're still working on our website, which is This Week in. In video games. This in video games. Co. Dot co. Dot co. Yes. Nice. And, um, longest title and shortest. Longest title <laughs> and shortest dot yeah. co. Uh, but again, I am Ada Wong. You can follow me on Twitter, J E S V. I'm Skate Streets of Rage in this bitch. Yeah, Max, where you at? Ooh, at Flix on Twitter. And uh, our wonderful guest, wonderful uh, guest. At Billy Shibley on Twitter. Also my name, coincidentally. Yeah. Enough. <laughs> and, and at Godzilla Rex. Snake yeah. Boss, yes, and thank you so much to our wonderful cosplayers behind us, Jill Valentine yeah. and Leon S. Yeah, Kennedy back there. Back Woo, there. playing Call of Duty. Um, again, thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll see you in two weeks, and for now, it's game over. Game over, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>